In this next section, we look at something called gearing. Now, gearing looks at to what extent is the company funded by debt financing. So, just a bit of terminology first. We can have equity financing, which is effectively share capital. So, you know, we sell shares to a number of different people in the marketplace. If we have share capital, then we pay annual dividends to shareholders. So someone buys a share in our company and each year we will pay them a certain amount as a dividend. And that is the return they are getting for their investment in our company. The other type of financing we can have is debt financing. This is, for example, bank loans. So the bank gives us a large sum of money to invest in our business. But what does the bank get in return for giving us that large sum of money? Well, we're going to have to pay interest to the bank. So they might lend us £100,000 at an interest rate of 5%. The interest is what the bank is earning on providing us that loan. So our gearing ratio then... Gearing is equal to our debt divided by our equity plus our debt. If we put it in percentage terms, it is telling us what percentage of our financing is debt financing. So things like bank loans. Let's have a look at an exercise. So we have the following extract from a company's accounts. We're given their share capital, accumulated profit, and loans. And we're asked, what is the company's gearing ratio? Very straightforward. We just plug in the numbers. We've got their debt, which is their loans, of 100 divided by debt plus their equity, which is their share capital, 200. And if we multiply that by 100% to get it as a percentage, we get 33%. So what is this telling us? Why do we care what percentage of the company's financing is debt financing? Does it matter? Well, yes, it does. Let's just have a quick look back up at what we said about equity and debt financing. So we said with equity, we sell shares to a number of different individuals and then we pay them annual dividends as a return on what they have invested. With debt, the bank gives us a large sum of money and we pay interest on the loan. The big difference between debt and equity financing is that if our company has a difficult year, so perhaps for a particular year our sales are very low and our profits are very low, or perhaps we have even incurred a loss for the year. When that happens, we still must pay the interest on our debt financing. So this interest must be paid. even if we have had a difficult year. However, dividends don't have to be paid. Now, if we want to keep attracting shareholders, we're going to have to pay dividends, certainly when we're doing well. Um, however, if the company is a difficult year, we can reduce the level of dividends or even not pay them out altogether. So dividends can be reduced. So in that way, when the company is perhaps struggling in the short to medium term, equity financing is more flexible because we can adjust the dividend payments. 
whereas debt financing, the interest must be paid. It's therefore perhaps a little bit dangerous to have a high percentage of debt financing. If a large percentage of our financing is debt financing, then we might really struggle to meet those interest payments in difficult years.